Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Uh, today I'll be talking about how to stand out from the crowd. And my subtitle is Receiving the Anointing of God. I will be using uh, the anointing and the Holy Spirit interchangeably throughout this teaching. There are over 7 billion people on earth and in the midst of the 7 billion, you need an extraordinary power to stand out. Amidst the 7 billion people, you need the supernatural anointing of God not to be in obscurity. Is it possible for every one of us to stand out? Of course, yes, because all of us have been created uniquely in the image of God. You are different from me. I am different from you. My thoughts, my intellect, my behavior, my ideas are different from you. And so every one of us is made to stand out. But we need the power of the Holy Spirit and the anointing of God to be able to do so. If you look at the heavens, there are so many stars, but none of them overshadows the other. Every star shines brighter in their own uniqueness. When we talk about the anointing, some mistake the anointing for the oil. I usually get this oil from my bishop, uh, the Bishop of Chelmsford. Every year, all the clergy gather in the Cathedral of Chelmsford and a lot of oil is blessed for us. And so we can use it in our parishes for our ministry, the ministry of anointing people. But the anointing is not the oil. The oil is only a medium of the anointing. So you don't put your faith in the oil, but you put your faith in God who enables the anointing to come upon your life. The anointing is the empowering of the Spirit of God for supernatural accomplishment because there are things your human strength cannot carry. There are things in life that you can't bear alone and you only need the anointing of the almighty God to be able to carry those things. The Bible says it is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. There are things your intellect, your skill, your ability, nor your willpower cannot accomplish. For some of the things we face in our daily lives, it is only by the supernatural power of God that enables us to get through and resolve those situations. There are so many things that the anointing of God does in the life of humanity. But let's just mention a few. The anointing breaks every yoke. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Friends, every yoke of bondage that is in your life Every yoke of bondage in your business, every yoke of bondage in your career, every yoke that stands between you and your progress, may the anointing of God shatter it into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. The anointing heals every sickness and every disease. Is anyone among you sick? 
then he must call the elders of the church. They are to pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are in any form of sickness, if you are sick in body, mind or spirit, then invite the leaders of your church, the elders of your church, to come over to your house or meet you in the church and pray over you, anointing you with the oil. And the anointing of God will remove every sickness from your life. The anointing teaches you all things. As for you, the anointing which you receive from him abides in you. And you have no need for anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches you all things. Friends, how wonderful it will be when we allow ourselves to be taught by the anointing of the living God. Wouldn't our lives be so peaceful and successful if we allow ourselves to be taught by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, we need to humble ourselves each day, submit ourselves under the mighty hand of God and allow the anointing of the living God to teach us things about our own lives, to teach us things about our spouses, our children, we need to allow the anointing of the living God to teach us all things pertaining to life, thereby relieving ourselves from a lot of the stress, anxiety, and the worry that we put ourselves under. You may look at your life and say to yourself, I haven't achieved anything this year. Or you may say to yourself, well, I'm 30, 40, or 50 years. There is nothing significant that I can really show for my life. That shouldn't be the case. For when the anointing of God comes upon your life, it will clear everything that has clouded your destiny. You may have been a Christian for a long time. You may have been a follower of Christ for decades, but until you allow the move of the Spirit of the living God to come upon your life, until you allow yourself to be saturated in the anointing of God Almighty, God's purpose for you cannot manifest in your life. Therefore, during this time of Advent, during this time when we anticipate the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, can I encourage you to open yourself up for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and for the anointing of the living God upon your life. As the anointing breaks every yoke in your life, heals every sickness in your life, and begin to teach you the deep things about God and about your own life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We thank you for the chance to learn about your anointing and to learn about the move of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And so I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice that you will help us to open ourselves up for the possibilities and the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the anointing of heaven to come upon our lives, to enable us to love our neighbors as ourselves and to live in peace and harmony with all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And don't forget to follow me on YouTube and share this message. I shall see you soon. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>